Welcome to our panel. We gather today to discuss opportunities in life science sector in Krakow. Through our discussion, we want to picture that ecosystem that can be found in Krakow and Małopolska uh, is an attractive one. With me today are uh, Edyta Jaworska, management board member responsible for sale and integrated drug discovery of CRO company Selvita. Agnieszka Blum, General Immunology Director of Artigen, company combining IT and life science sector, and Kazimierz Murzyn, uh, representing life science Krakow cluster. And I'm Justyna Czeszek, uh, Investor Support Department Vice Director of Krakow Technology Park. Krakow Technology Park um, that hosts and organizes this uh, panel that will be shown during the Biotech in Europe Forum 2021 is an uh, ecosystem um, institution um, facilitating growth of companies on different stages of development uh, in Krakow and Małopolska. Uh, it, to bring a motto of KPT to life um, that sounds uh, we help companies grow faster, we have a full toolbox of um, uh, possibilities for companies. We run a startup uh, incubator, accelerator, digital innovation hub. We are also a company responsible for administrating, uh, administrating income tax breaks uh, in Polish investment zone program in Małopolska. Um, in our undertaking to introduce our viewers to life science sector in Krakow, the main role will play my guests. Uh, we all um, represent strong entities and companies uh, in Krakow. Um, you work close with Polish universities, uh, in un with universities located in Krakow, um, and also hospitals that create an interesting uh, pot of skills and competences. Um, without further ado, I would like to give the stage to you. Um, let me first start uh, with you, Edita and Selvita. Um, you have been involved for many years uh, in growth of um, your company of Selvita. Uh, please tell us about um, your company uh, and the uh, development uh, of your operations in recent years. Okay, so hello everyone. I'm Edita Jaworska, management board of Selvita. So maybe let me briefly comment who we are, what we do. So basically, Selvita is a contract research organization supporting pharmaceutical and biotechnology companies in drug discovery and drug development efforts. So our main focus uh, is basically to have an impact on improving patients' lives by supporting our partners' programs in various therapeutic areas. Uh, for example, in oncology, CNS, uh, inflammation, antiviral drug discovery, respiratory, and also many others. Um, for example, in drug discovery space, we basically support our clients starting from heat identification till nomination of a preclinical candidate. Whereas, when it comes to drug development, uh, we help our clients to implement their products uh, on the market by performing analytical testing of both small molecules and biologics. Uh, Salvita was established in 2007. Currently, we employ over 800 employees. Um, so that the number has grown significantly, I must admit, starting from uh, 2007. Um, so um, we, have, we are headquartered here in Kraków in Poland. We have a Dota company in Croatia and also we foreign offices in the States and also in the UK. Um, the company is uh, public, so we are listed on the Warsaw stock market. Uh, for example, last year we were named the stock company of the year in the competition organized by Pulse Business, so the largest business daily in Poland, what we are especially proud of. Uh, so uh, maybe some of you remember Selvita as a biotechnology company with a pipeline in oncology and two programs in the clinical trials. So let me just clarify that in uh, October 2019, we decided to split Selvita into two separate legal entities. So one of them is currently Riveview Therapeutics, and this is the biotechnology company focused on the development of new uh, breakthrough therapies in oncology. 
whereas Selvita currently is pure uh, contract research organization supporting pharma and biotech companies. Thank you. Thank you. Agnieszka, could you tell us more about Arjun? Yes, of course. Um, good morning. Thank you for having us. It's a pleasure to be here today and have the opportunity to introduce Ardigen. At Ardigen, we are harnessing artificial intelligence methods uh, for novel precision medicine. Uh, through our expertise in bioinformatics, machine learning, uh, structure modeling and software engineering, we are able to advance drug development and uh, therapy development. We provide services in four main areas, immunology, microbiome, uh, biomedical imaging and digital CRO. The key to our success is combination of AI methods and experiments. This AI lab cycles uh, help us to increase the accuracy of our results and reduce the amount um, and time of experiments necessary to meet our goals. Two examples of AI platforms developed by the immunology department led by myself are Ardimunvax and TCR Act. Ardimunvax platform uses the, software, uh, the sequencing data to generate and prioritize antigen targets uh, for cancer vaccines and uh, T-cell therapies. Uh, with a complex approach to biological problems and cutting-edge AI technology, we are able to set ourselves apart from the competition. Um, as a proof of how good uh, Ardigen and how advanced Ardigen solution is, uh, we have been invited to join Tesla Consortium, uh, established by Parker Institute of Cancer Immunotherapy and Cancer Research Institute in the US. The invitation is only directed to the best uh, in the field, uh, and we have been very happy to, to join. Our next platform, Ardimmune uh, TCR Act, enable us to uh, discover uh, T-cell receptors. Many of you have surely admired the advantages uh, brought to the hematological malignancies by the CAR T-cell therapies. Um, we believe uh, that therapies uh, based on engineered TCR, TCRs uh, have more com compelling advantages and will revolutionize the treatment of solid tumors. Our platform will enable us to um, generate synthetic TCRs. Currently, we are able to optimize the existing ones by using modules of our platform like um, off-target toxicity prediction or um, TCR optimization. Thank you. And Kazimierz, from a different Thank angle, <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Thank you, you are for having a me. managing Zero. director of um, uh, Life Science Krakow Cluster. Uh, could you please introduce this organization uh, to our viewers? Uh, maybe you could uh, tell us about initiatives that are uh, run um, through the cluster, with the cluster and in the cluster and about the members um, that uh, are part of this community. Um, yeah, thank you again for having me here, for, for having us here. Uh, I'm, my name is Kazimierz Murzyn, I'm managing director uh, of the Life Science Krakow uh, cluster. Uh, this is the uh, cluster is a network, local local network of uh, entities uh, involved in uh, develop, development of innovations for health and, in uh, health and quality of life in general, the read the, the from life sciences. It's a quite a broad, uh, broad definition of, uh, of, uh, uh, of, of activity, of partners. Uh, it covers value chains in biotechnology, uh, health technologies, uh, digital health technologies, uh, food, uh, bioeconomy as well. Uh, we have uh, our structure of organization, because this is, orga this is a network organization, exemplifying the so-called triple, quadruple, or even plus, quadruple plus uh, helix. We have uh, our business, uh, business uh, innovation business entities like Selvita, uh, Rive or Ardigen, uh, universities uh, which provide education, universities active in life sciences, R&D institutions, research institutions, national or local, national local, localized here or, or local operating from here, business support organizations uh, which have uh, 
which doesn't do not provide activities, run activities in life science itself, but they have service for life science, uh, for life science companies and uh, the community like like headhunting, like like law, lawyers, like uh, teachers, etc. Uh, hospitals, the, the, the healthcare organizations, and the local government uh, actively supporting the, these activities. So having in the region something about 450 organizations in terms of uh, companies, innovative companies, and more. Uh, close, sorry, close to uh, 100 active members. We are, we are kind of active player, important player in local, in local st uh, uh, regional strategy uh, and uh, ec uh, innovation ecosystem. And uh, also we, we, we are active at the national level, in international level as an organization, as, as a network. Uh, talking about the national level, it's worth to mention that uh, we hold the title of uh, uh, national key cluster. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for these introductions. Um, now I would like to move us to um, the topic that will show our viewers what set of circumstances allowed your companies to thrive in Krakow. Um, Selvita is employing over 800 employees, as you uh, shared the data, um, and you are reaching a broad portfolio of customers. Um, what do you think was the most important asset that you found in Krakow that allowed such an incredible growth uh, since 2007? Well, speaking about the most important assets, these are definitely people. I mean, here in Krakow, we have access to a number of really excellent scientists. Uh, so like every year, over 1,000, there are over 1,000 new life science graduates here in Krakow. Quite many of them are actually uh, graduating from the Jagiellonian University, um, uh, one of the oldest universities uh, in Europe, uh, having really a long-term history in uh, educating life science students and also letting them to gain international experience. I can just name two, the most famous probably um, uh, Jagiellonian University graduates, like Nikolaus Copernicus, or, for example, in our industry, Leo Sternbach, who was a Jewish uh, chemist who studied at the Egelonian University in Krakow. Then he moved to Roche and invented Valium, the most prescribed drug uh, in the world. Uh, so when it comes to Selvita, so here we have opportunity to recruit from a number of faculties. For us, the most important are uh, medicinal and analytical chemistry but also biotechnology, biochemistry, biology, and uh, many others. So this is one part when it comes to people that we recruit here in Krakow. But definitely we also recruit people abroad. If we want to find scientists with, uh, let's say, long-term industrial experience, uh, we need to try to look people also in other countries. And here Krakow definitely also helps. So I can just say that currently the number of foreign uh, employees is um, over 20%. Uh, we have like uh, more than 25 different nationalities. Let me just name a few. Um, Croatia, Ukraine, Italy, Mexico, India, Germany, UK, US. So actually I would say from the whole world. And Krakow is the place that really helps us to encourage those scientists to, to move uh, to Poland. Uh, Krakow is a very well-known city for the majority of foreigners, as uh, they perceive it as a very attractive place uh, for not only sightseeing, but also sometimes for living, for finding new job uh, opportunities. Um, so this is definitely something what helps us uh, uh, a lot. So if I would have to, let's say, sum up, so speaking about the most important assets, these are human resources above all, but also growing research infrastructure. Mm -hmm. um, also, I would say the um, uh, excellent uh, scientific environment here and um, a history of uh, drug discovery, drug development in the uh, Krakow uh, area. These are the biggest potential of, uh, of this part uh, of um, uh, Poland. And I think that uh, due to that fact, uh, all these um, uh, numerous um, employees at Selvita help to build this multidis multidisciplinary, multicultural working environment at our company, which is definitely an impact for others to join us. Mm -hmm.
Thank you. Agnieszka, Artigen product line is very different from that of Selvita. Um, delivery of your services requires access to different variety of skills than that of, of Selvita. Are you able to find them in Krakow as well? Yes, um, to be able to successfully deliver and complete over 180 um, complex projects um, um, for the clients all over the world within the last five years, we've been requiring a variety of skill sets and some of them quite unusual for a life science company. We particularly build our skill sets in um, bioinformatics, machine learning, um, software engineering uh, and modeling and domain knowledge in immunology, cancer biology, um, biomedical imaging and m microbiome. Poland, especially Krakow, as Edita mentioned, with the Jagiellonian University, have a great tradition of educating highly skilled uh, experts in life science. And thanks to high uh, standard of education at Jagiellonian University and at the A uh, AGH um, University of Science and Technology, as well as it being a birthplace to many IT businesses, Krakow is definitely a well-recognized um, uh, in the world as an AI hub. And many of our employees have their primary degrees uh, in Poland and PhDs and postdocs abroad. And it's their love of Krakow that brings them back home. Um, moreover, we offer our machine learning and AI experts a very unique opportunity to work in meaningful, meaningful projects uh, beyond their primary, primary field. Many of them, they are just tired of working on uh, self-driving cars or monitoring social media. With us, they get a chance uh, at working toward uh, saving lives and creating um, cancer treatments. Um, this is why our motto, Code Against Cancer, um, is uh, that that drives our staff. So in summary, what I can say uh, is that the drug pipelines of the future will definitely not exist without modern bioinformatics and machine learning tools. And Krakow is definitely a place that provides us with resources to be leader in our field. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, since 2006, uh, if I'm not uh, wrong, Life Science Cluster um, operates in Krakow, in Małopolska. Um, you bring to other co cooperation in the network of institutions and companies that you, that you mentioned before in our whole region. Um, could you please tell us more about the companies that build the ecosystem and whether you saw uh, growth in numbers uh, of these um, companies and maybe also in quality of these companies in the uh, region in, in this period of time from 2006 um, until now? Um, it's difficult to, to, to discuss, uh, to, to, to talk about numbers because it changes, it's uh, actually quite a dynamic growth all, all, all over the time. Uh, I would say we can observe three, three trends, at least three. Uh, I had in my mind two, but now I added the third one, which was very important. I will start with the third one. It's actually kind of emerging, uh, emerging uh, uh, domains like, like, uh, like uh, digital health in, in Krakow. It's a combination between life sciences and IT, two strengths of, of previous strengths of, of, life, of life sciences. So this, this type of, uh, this type of uh, um, uh, phenomena it's, it can be visible in, in many places. Uh, contract research organizations and clinical trials organizations also grow, grow in number and in, in, in quality. But generally speaking, uh, Krakow ecos uh, or Małopolska life science, uh, life science ecosystem works as uh, any similar type of ecosystem in, in the world. I mean, I mean there, are, there are a number of startups. Since 2006, I don't, I don't have in mind uh, in the, head, uh, the, the number of startups which came in, in the life science field, and many of them just failed, as, as, as it is normal in, in any ecosystem. Some of them grew very dynamically, the, the, the Salvita and the Artigen are two, two the best, uh, prominent, most prominent examples, but there are many, many others. Companies, the other companies uh, which were which, for example, started even this this uh, uh, this network, uh, this organization in 2006. Uh, they rebranded, they they changed, they developed uh, new uh, technologies, they changed the uh, the value chains, uh, etc. So so they grew uh, in, in general, and they are now stronger and go internationally. They start operations internationally. 
And uh, yes, that, that, that was the, something which, which is worth to, to mention that uh, we observe everything what's, what's happening in any uh, well-established uh, eco uh, innovation ecosystem here in Krakow. The, those changes are natural. We are some, somehow in, in a very complex uh, ecosystem when many things are coming, uh, going out, changing, uh, mixing. And, uh, but in general, we observe that there is a general growth in terms of quality and quantity of, of companies. Not only companies, it's also worth to mention that uh, not only the businesses are, are create a part of, uh, of uh, ecosystem, for example, science leg is very important. A science leg which uh, developed uh, due to the uh, funds, due to the uh, different types of opportunities which will be, they will be able to, to, to reach for, they developed uh, their background, their uh, capacity in, in providing the modern, uh, modern art. And there are new endeavors like uh, what, what to mention SANO, which itself as an international research organization, an international research foundation can be treated as a startup uh, with 30 million euros uh, uh, seed fund. Uh, to, to develop the, its operations as a, mm, as a uh, applied research organization in digital health in digital health uh, domain and there are we have in plans many others so in, in that domain so so I think everything goes well mm -hmm. great um, so 2019 and 2020 brought unexpected challenges <laughs> not only to Poland but the whole world uh, the covid pandemic hit um, us um, now we can say that um, your industry, uh, life sciences, biotech, wasn't affected uh, uh, hugely by the pandemic. Um, but I wonder whether um, COVID pandemic changed your international outreach in any way. Uh, was that the case uh, in Selvita maybe? Uh, I would say that uh, it's like on the contrary. It helped us not only in the growth of our business, but also in gaining new customers. Mm -hmm. So all these trends related to, for example, stop of, stop of uh, the activity of some CROs in China, later on in India, caused that um, American companies or even Western European companies were looking for some alternatives. And this is where we appeared. I must say that currently for us, the two most dynamic markets are the US and the UK. Mm -hmm. So probably uh, this helped us somehow, though there were also some constraints, maybe less on the drug discovery services, but more for drug development where there were some uh, delays or cease of the production of the um, pharmaceuticals. So basically we didn't have uh, enough material to be, to be tested, enough product to be tested. So I would say that uh, there are some definitely negative consequences of the COVID-19 pandemic, but also some uh, positive ones for us uh, uh, at least. Also, you know, um, regarding our international outreach. Uh, so I think that uh, it maybe was less relevant or less dependent on the situation with the uh, pandemic. Basically, Selvita has always been focused on international markets. Let me just mention that over 90% of our revenues come from other markets than Poland. And this was uh, the result that uh, from the beginning, our sales team was able to travel from Krakow to other des destination to visit customers to participate in numerous events, uh, biotech um, and pharma conferences first. Uh, and on the top of that, in 2015, 2016, we decided to make the next step of our corporate development. And uh, we uh, actually uh, established or created uh, our new foreign offices, two in the States, one in the UK. So in the UK, it's based in Cambridge and in the States, in Boston, um, and uh, then near San Francisco area. So we simply realized that we need to stay a bit closer to our clients, that being located only in Poland, it's not sufficient if you really want to go global. Mm -hmm. And there is one more important step in our corporate development, which actually happened this year, at the beginning of this year. It was January when we acquired uh, Fidelta. This is a CRO from Croatia. This was really um, a breakthrough for Selvita, as till that moment we had been growing only organically and for the first time we acquired a company. Fidelta belonged previously to Galapagos Group, 
uh, and it brought to Selvita Group uh, great experience, over 180 very skilled scientists, um, major expertise in such therapeutic areas like inflammation, anti-infectives, uh, also fibrosis. So this is really perfect match with our experience in oncology uh, and CNS. So um, I believe that there are always some kind of advantages and disadvantages, like also in the situation of the COVID-19 pandemic. But I wouldn't say that we limited our international outreach. We even further expanded it. Great, great to hear that. Um, Agnieszka, you again uh, have a different portfolio of clients and um, different uh, portfolio of employees. Um, and I wonder how the pandemic affected uh, your business and your international outreach. Yeah, so one of the main differences between Artigen and Selvita is the amount of laboratory work. So although we heavily rely on the laboratory experiments data, we mostly work on computers. And therefore the pandemic lo lockdown didn't affect us at all. And in contrary, uh, we were able, as a, um, able to seamlessly move into the remote work model, which is not surprising for an IT company. And paradoxically, the needs of life science have been rapidly growing uh, over um, the pandemic, which allowed us not only to continue our operations, but also to grow the number of projects um, and uh, staff at the company. Uh, with all the analysis, forecasts and developments, we've been, um, it has been a great time for AI-driven technologies, uh, and we've been benefiting from it. On the business side, we have also noticed many positive uh, effects uh, with people uh, all around the world working from home. The distance um, stopped being so visible and enabled us to open new channels of collaborations. And to give you a few examples of uh, how my business unit um, uh, were able to deliver during this difficult time, we've been able to discuss and design laboratory experiments with our partner in, in Denmark while optimizing a COVID-19 vaccines with uh, partners in New Zealand and presenting new toxicity platform uh, at two conferences. Uh, this might, might have been a logistical challenge in the past, uh, but nowadays with new, our new reality, our outreach uh, is almost uh, limitless. Great to hear that. <laughs> Um, and Kazimierz, could you tell us about the um, uh, companies, institutions that uh, work together in the cluster um, and maybe how you facilitate this international outreach of these entities? <coughs> First, I must stress that we as a cluster do not work only solely for our partners. We work for the whole all, uh, the companies present here in Malpolska region. And so we support all. Some of them uh, are treated better because they are our, they are our partners. Uh, and active partners, and this situation is uh, difficult. Uh, uh, it is difficult to answer this uh, this uh, this question in, in a number because uh, the situation is uh, uh, very dynamic. It changes very dynamically. We assume that uh, we, we uh, expect or assume that uh, something like more than seventy percent of uh, uh, these innovative companies from Małopolska, probably more, are active internationally, and we are supporting them with uh, in different ways and through many programs, projects. Uh, uh, either uh, directly supporting or su subsidizing their, their part participation in international events, organizing international events. We are part of the, of the international networks which allow them, th those companies, to be, uh, to be involved in the projects. SANO, for example, is a great project we, we, we developed together with partners from, from Poland, from Krakow and also from, from, uh, from uh, other countries. We are part of the international projects uh, financed from Horizon 2020 when we collaborate, in which we we collaborate with the great clusters, other clusters in Europe, uh, from from Munich, from Valogne, from from France. We are part of you of the European Cluster Alliance, so we have actually access to whole Europe, uh, which allows us to to actually support our our companies interested in, in internationalization, to go there and find partners. Uh, that this is very important. So we, by being local, uh, let's say network and being a part of the. Uh, net similar networks in Europe, we actually create a, the network of um, life science organizations uh, in whole Europe, and to, to, through that channel, uh, channel we, we we can uh, actually support every organization from from this area to be to become part of the 
international endeavors. But also vice ver we, we do uh, vice versa. I mean, we introduce uh, 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 or bring the, those internationals to Poland, to Krakow, uh, to, for events, for different types of uh, 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 conferences, uh, meetings, uh, etc. Uh, it's worth to mention Life Science Open Space, which is uh, being uh, the, the annual event run since 12 years, and in which there are countries, we, we have participants for, from all over the world. Last year, it was because the COVID, only digital, and we had participants from 14 countries, but before last year, when it was, it was live, it was the same number of uh, participants, the, the same number of countries represented during this, uh, this event. Thank you for the insight into the ecosystem of uh, Krakow uh, in life science sector. Because of the time constraints, we will have to uh, summarize. Um, the outcome of the discussion, I think, points us to the conclusions that uh, Krakow is a stable, safe place uh, uh, for um, growth of life science companies. Um, the life science companies that uh, focus on um, IT, uh, that focus on AI and data science, as well as um, uh, laboratory, laboratory work, uh, CRO companies like Selvita. Uh, there are institu institutions, scientific institutions uh, like SANO, um, opening here, growing here uh, on this more, more scientific uh, leg. Um, Krakow um, and Małopolska region um, is honor uh, in many rankings. Uh, in 2020, for example, Krakow was ranked third as the best destination to invest in in CE region. Um, and companies uh, find here great uh, space to grow, um, to, um, to relocate here. Um, the relocated management will find in Krakow home with access to international schools, uh, cultural life uh, and big community of uh, expats that are working in companies like Selvita Artigen uh, and many others for example, in business shared services um, that are huge in, in Krakow and Małopolska as well. Um, and Krakow Technology Park, um, the institution that I represent, uh, help the companies in the whole process of investing in Małopolska. Um, um, starting uh, with finding a proper location, uh, connecting with corporates, uh, granting tax incentives for new investment in our region. Um, I must stress that the Polish Investment Zone program uh, is run by our entity. Um, and through us, uh, we are able to grant 35% uh, of tax break for new investments uh, in our region. And starting in January 2022, uh, this uh, support will be higher by 5% and it will amount uh, to 40%. Um, and I will have to summarize by saying uh, in my name and in the name of Selvita Ardigen and uh, Life Science Krakow Cluster, um, you are invited to join us in Krakow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.